Welcome to this short video on Polyline to Land XML. The Polyline to Land XML allows the user to take any 3D polyline and export it out as Land XML and it will turn it into an alignment and a profile in Land XML. To demonstrate this, I've already got a 3D polyline on screen. I'm going to come up to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon and I'm going to select Polyline to Land XML. So I'm going to select it. Now what this allows you to do is pick an existing XML file that you have. If not, I'm going to give it a name here. So I'm just going to call this one Kobe. And I'm going to go save. Now the export land XML dialog box comes up. I'm going to click on the plus sign here. I'm going to go and pick a polyline on screen. I'm going to pick it. Now at the command line it says enter the name. So I'm going to call this one road one. Press enter. Then it asks me for my start station. I'm going to leave it at zero and I'm going to press enter. Now, the command is still active if I want to pick any more polylines or feature lines. I don't, so I'm going to press enter. Now the dialog box comes up. And in here you can modify these. So I can say road one or um, changing the station. I'm just going to go save here and it's done. Now, let's say you've got an existing one and you want to make some changes to it. So now I'm going to come back up to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon. I'm going to select Polyline to Land XML. I'm going to select the XML file that I have and I'm going to go save. And it automatically brings up my alignment and my stationing that I had previously. Okay. So if I do want to make any changes to this, I can do that or I want to add another one to the same file. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. This concludes this short video on Polyline to Land XML. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.